Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to do a, a quick demonstration and tutorial on how to use Ham Radio Deluxe uh, for shortwave listening and uh, how you can get a schedule of shortwave radio broadcasts inside Ham Radio Deluxe. So, um, first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to visit this website. It is ilgradio.com and you will need to order a username and password for 17 euros. Now, I have seen other databases out there that are free. Um, I don't know where uh, they are and where you can find them. I don't remember. Uh, it's been a while. Um, but um, this uh, person puts in a lot of work and updates a database regularly. The last time uh, that I saw a free version of the database. It was um, nine or ten years old at least. So I'm sure a lot has changed since then, but maybe not. Um, so if you want to find the free version of the database, you're more than welcome to. Um, if not, uh, you can come here and uh, order a username and password. Uh, I got the one year. Uh, subscription, if you will. Uh, it's 17 euros, which is mm, $18.50, something like that. Uh, when you order a password, um, don't use any of these email uh, addresses um, because uh, they uh, have a uh, problem with them. Use a Gmail account if you have one or any other account that's not one of these, I had no problems with uh, Gmail. So you'll order a username and password. Uh, once you've got that ordered, um, give it some time. Uh, it takes about 12 hours, uh, give or take, for the person to uh, for a person to get back to you with your username and password once uh, they've uh, gotten your payment. So give it some time. Uh, you will get it. Uh, during the weekend, it might be longer. You may have to wait um, about a day to get your uh, password and username. So once you have your password and username, you'll come back to this website. And up here, where it says um, uh, LGR Radio, uh, excuse me, ILG Radio Data, go ahead and go to Database. And since you're working with Ham Radio Deluxe, you're going to need the uh, uh, following file down here at the very bottom. It says Ham Radio Deluxe Text Format. Go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, this was updated uh, just recently. You're going to go ahead and click on this button here uh, the, uh, uh, to download uh, this file. And uh, once you've uh, clicked that, a box is going to come up and ask for your username and password uh, that you were emailed. Type that in, go ahead, and it will download to your downloads folder. Next, you'll come over here. I already have Ham Radio Deluxe running. But go ahead and uh, go to uh, your downloads folder. Go ahead and cut that file uh, from this folder. Cut it and then you're going to uh, paste it in the following directory here. Uh, so go to your C drive, uh, go to program files, go to ham radio or HRD software, go inside this folder, and up here the defaults folder, go ahead and paste that file into this folder and as you can see there's my file right there. So go ahead and uh, uh, do that, and um, once you've done that, go ahead and close this and go ahead and open up uh, Ham Radio Deluxe. Uh, at the top of the window here, you'll see SW Data. Go ahead and click on that, and right here is that text file. Uh, to import that text file into this window, 
you're going to come over here to the side and you're going to click on the options button right here. Brings up this little window. Uh, under database here, this is a button right here. And I didn't realize that at first when I was setting this up. Uh, but this is the button. You're going to click on this. And it should default you right to the defaults folder. But if not, go ahead and uh, navigate to uh, that folder that you pasted that um, ILG radio text file to. And as you can see, there's mine right there. You'll click open. Um, don't... Uh, since I uh, already have this imported, I'm not going to click open. I'm just going to cancel it. But for you, go ahead and click open. Um, if you have rig control configured uh, for HRD, go ahead and enable this. And I'm not sure what color is yet. I'm still messing with this. I don't know if it changes the color of the window down here or what. But once you have uh, that imported, then you should see something similar to what I'm seeing here. Go ahead and uh, close out of uh, this, and uh, here you are. So I'll just use the top one as a, for a demo here. NATO communication, this is the frequency it's on. All times are listed in UTC, so wherever you are in the world, make sure uh, you use UTC time. Uh, do the conversion. For me, they're ahead five hours. Uh, Language, this is a data, but if it was English, it would say English. If it was Russian, it would say Russian. If it was Chinese, it would say Mandarin. Um, location, um, this one's a variable uh, position. Country, target, this one's important. This one is um, who the broadcast is intended for. Uh, and this top one here, it would be European or European countries in Africa. Uh, this, I'm not sure what the status means. Remarks. Uh, this one's also important. Most shortwave broadcasts are AM, but some are uh, sideband. So take a look at the remark and set your radio accordingly. Um, in this case, this is an upper sideband with a center frequency of... 2.001.8 megahertz. Um, yeah. Quick tour of the side panel here. So you already saw the options screen. This button will take you to the home page uh, for the uh, ILG radio database. This will increase and decrease your text size here. Again, if you have rig control set up, this will put your radio into AM mode options and this is cool this is your filter so I'm gonna click this button here and this screen is gonna pop up now um, I want to see uh, what's being transmitted right now in my time uh, in English so I'm gonna type in English here and I need to do the time uh, let's see here it's uh, almost uh, 20 hundred uh, UTC here. So I'm going to change the time to uh, uh, 1930. And th those are the only two parameters I'm going to set. So I'm going to hit apply. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch in the software, but you have to hit apply again to actually bring up the results. Now, as you can see, everything here is listed in English. So now I'm only looking at English stations and to start listening I can just click right here and I'll turn up my radio here. I'll click this and set my radio to AM. Now I can't hear anything so I'm just going to use the down arrow uh, and wait until I hear something. This might take a little bit. Here we go.
this is uh, WMLK Bethel uh, from Bethel, uh, Pennsylvania. And its target is North America, Europe, and I'm not sure what ME is. Uh, and it's uh, irregular, not sure what that means. So I'll keep scrolling down here, see if we can hear something else that's maybe a little more clear. Well, here's a WBCQ Monticello. We'll move on. Here's True News out of, uh, it's a 24-hour broadcast out of Okeechobee, Florida. Target is North America. We'll keep scrolling here. That's not coming in well today. Okay, here's Nigeria. Uh, that may not be accurate. Don't know. Let's see. Well, it says BBC London, but not sure. Still learning all this, but anyway, there you go. There's kind of a general, uh, a general uh, overview and whatnot of um, using shortwave uh, data inside Ham Radio Deluxe and being able to just scroll through a list and uh, listen to various stations. Um, I'm going to reset the filter here. You do not have to leave that filter window open um, once you've got your search parameters in. Um, but I want to reset this, so I'm going to scroll to the top here, and I'm going to reset the parameter, and it should reset for me after you hit apply. So hit reset and then hit, hit apply and that should reset everything for me. And oh yeah, it definitely did. <laughs> anyway, there you go. So that is a preview of shortwave radio listening data uh, inside Ham Radio Deluxe and how easy it is to listen to shortwave radio broadcasts um, with this database inside Ham Radio Deluxe if you have rig control configured. It makes uh, shortwave radio listening a breeze, and um, you have a schedule right here, right in front of you, that is accessible even if uh, you do not have an internet connection. So that's all I have today. Um, I'm going to try to make another uh, video tutorial on um, using... Um, a digipeter to access uh, WinLink on VHF um, packet. So that's it, guys. You have a great day and 73s. We'll see you for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.